in Washington State, the, the gooey duck fishery is um, sustainably managed by the Department of Fish and Wildlife, the Department of Natural Resources, and the treaty tribes. A, a model or a mathematical model determines how many of the gooey ducks can be harvested in each year and still leave enough behind to reproduce and repopulate the tracts that are commercially harvested. So we have a wild stock fishery management plan that is has been co-written by the Department of Fish and Wildlife and the Department of Natural Resources. We've, we, we have done an environmental impact statement and a, a set amount of, of gooey duck or otherwise known as the biomass is, is established right now. It's about 2.7 percent of all the gooey duck in Puget Sound are available for harvest each year. Um, the the 2.7 percent is divided equally between the treaty tribes and the state. Uh, the gooey duck fishery is unique in that the, the gooey duck are embedded in the sediment. We know where they are. We can survey and count them. Um, we know how much we can take in a sustainable manner to keep the fishery um, lasting into the future. And track is typically fished for, depending on the size, one to five years. Um, it's fished down to that 40% um, of what was originally there. If, for instance, the biomass in a particular region were to de decrease, the amount that, we, that, that is allowed for commercial harvest also decreases. And in this manner, it, it remains sustainable over time. So there's been a significant amount of programmatic evaluation of the gooey duck wild stock fishery to ensure that it is sustainable, to ensure that it isn't harming endangered and threatened species.